Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and about a year ago now, which is crazy, you can actually see the upload date a year ago, I made a video talking about shiny Pokemon that might get devalued when Johto came out, talking about new hunts being added, Pokemon going from egg hunts and then becoming times five hordes such as Miltank, and I thought it'd be really fun to go back and see how many of these predictions that I get correct. Now, I kind of threw out a bunch of predictions so it's pretty easy to you know nail one when you throw out so many but we'll go ahead and be harsh on it and watch the video and see what i got right what i got wrong and it should be a pretty interesting watch now everybody hates watching themselves myself included but it'll be fun it'll be a good meme we'll see what i got right let's go ahead and jump into it wish me luck let's see how it goes hey yo what's up my name's petrowski and i wanted a really really fun video so Today, I'm actually going to be covering shiny Pokemon that might get devalued when Johto comes out. So what I mean by this is that these are currently shiny Pokemon or Pokemon that have shiny hunts that are pretty difficult. They might be egg only or single encounter only or not have hordes of any kind and they might become easier when Johto comes out. They might have hordes added. They might, you know, have single encounter added in the wild. A lot of these might be. Just re-explaining what I just explained here. Yep. Safari only. So we're going to be covering these. It should be pretty interesting. This is all speculation, all opinion. You guys can let me know what you guys think. I'm glad I front loaded that the, at the beginning of the video. Really important when it's, you know, I'm not stating fact. It's important to preface comments that. down below and give me your thoughts and opinions. I always love seeing that. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first couple Pokemon that I want to cover. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the Pokedex and scroll down to Johto. Now, there's actually a couple Pokemon that I want to cover out of order. So Miltank. Miltank is was the number one shiny that I wanted to hunt. Still the number one shiny that I want to hunt in Johto, and I still don't have it. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna cover the most anticipated Pokemon first. Excuse me. Was just Safari Zone before me. So the first Pokemon that I'm gonna first couple, I believe it's one, two, uh, three, four, four Pokemon that I'm gonna cover that have been speculated and theorized over for years. Like people have been waiting for this change for years. Um, the first one's gonna be Miltank. People definitely believe that Miltank could absolutely get like a times five horde. I didn't think I got that correct. I nailed this first one. Miltank, for those who don't know, did get a times five horde. It went from being an egg hunt to getting a times five horde, which is about the most insane jump you can get from difficulty and time to get a shiny. I didn't think I thought it was going to get a times five horde. I thought, it was gonna, I thought I was going to get like a single or like a times three. That is shot. I, I, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll continue on, but that's I'm shocked I got that. I nailed that. Uh, going from a very rare Safari Zone shiny to a times five horde would be pretty insane. Most people shiny hunt mill tank via happens. eggs, which makes it you know right now like a 100 to 100 to 100 to 120 mil uh, kind of shiny. At least in terms of hunting it, shiny mill tank is currently not that much. Uh, I would I don't know the price. I don't know if that went out, but I, I would guess it's probably around 60 mil, maybe 40 mil. Oh, it's, it's female the, only. It's a huge Probably range, 40. obviously. 40 to 60 mil for a sort of age shiny like that. I'm not, you know, I'm not deep enough into the higher tier shiny economy to understand that price, but still true. Anyways, shiny mill tank could definitely go from being a very rare uh, safari zone plus egg hunt shiny into a times five horde. So all of these shinies. I'm surprised I got that. I thought I was going to be singles. I, I think I thought I thought later on it would be like singles or times three. The fact that I actually got a times five is still nuts. I, you know, I want to give That's you guys so some insane. sort of. I guess hesitancy or be like you know if you're if you want to shiny hunt these if you want to egg hunt these be a little weary uh because when johto comes out or johto should come out within the next year or so would be my guess once again another predict also nailed that prediction i'm i'm not doing too shabby here also a huge point of this video which i, I just said a huge part of the video is hey you know maybe don't start egg hunting mill tank right now is that's going to take you like six to 18 months anyway don't start that right now when johto's going to be out in a year and you could just times five four like don't waste your money and time um that was a huge part of this video was to you know cause people to be like oh maybe i should wait on this egg hunt or lower than my priority list um these but I do will with value to that extent if you don't care about it at the end of the day you know go ahead please feel free um, you know, shiny hunt, whatever you want. If you don't think they're going to get devalued, you know, please go for it. But anyways, that's the first one. We've got a lot of Pokemon to cover. So let's go ahead and go through that one. I'm going to, I'm going to say that Miltank will actually get a times five horde, which is insane. I also think Mareep will get a times five horde. So right now Mareep is. This one also nailed. Mareep got a times five horde and Flaffy. So there's two different ones, which is cool. It's a uh, Safari Zone rare encounter plus an Altering Cave, a rare, rare encounter, but Altering Cave's a whole meme nowadays. It's really mechanically a 
This was another egg hunt slash. Actually, I believe um, Team Mister taught me this. The best way to hunt this is actually in the Safari Zone. You do actually get enough encounters per hour of Mareep in the Safari Zone, and it's a decent enough catch rate to where it's faster to, to hunt this in the Safari Zone versus egg hunting. Um, but you're shiny hunting in the Safari Zone. Good luck. It's going to be painful. It's very obscure nowadays. Not many people go there. Um, but anyways, Mareep currently most people egg hunt it you know hunting in the safari zone especially for a rare you know encounter kind of incorrect info as a shiny would be insane plus it could very kind well of. run away from you um, i think back then i will say i think actually back at this period more people did aid hunt marie because it just wasn't known that safari was that much better and um it's listed as rare in the safari zone but it's kind of more of an uncommon encounter rate people didn't know so it, it kind of information evolved you shunt Mariani, egg. and a lot of people would still egg hunt Mareep out of the safety because a lot of people don't want to have that don't have the mental to like hunt the safari zone which makes a lot of sense you know losing a shiny is really painful shunt Mareep, excuse me uh once again costing you around like 100 to 100 to 120 mil to hunt it right i've since changed this number to like 120 to 150 mil is a is a better accurate representation my cranidos cost me 150 mil if it becomes a times five horde it's just going to cost you around 30 hours so that one could obviously that one i really to a mill tank in marip i definitely think could become times five hordes now on to the starters the first two. don't worry i definitely don't don't see these guys becoming times five hordes or even times three hordes or even like common single encounters but cyndaquil chikorita and totodile are Keep in mind, this was before lores existed. So I'm talking about starter encounters before lores even were a thing. So we didn't know that they would all be sta all be standardized. Um, but yeah, I mean, I nailed this as well. I assume just similar wild rare encounters in the, you know, similar to all the other ones. Pretty easy are guess, very, though. Very, very likely to be moved out of the Hoenn Safari. Also nailed that. A huge Pretty thing about easy. Johto is that a lot of the Johto Pokemon right now are in the Hoenn Safari, and a lot of them would be being moved out or moved from the Safari and being moved to their proper region, right? So every starter, every starter Pokemon in Pokemon Mo has a rare encounter generally in the wild. So for example, Bulbasaur, rare encounter on Route 5 in their respective regions. Charmander, rare encounter in Rock Tunnel. Squirtle, rare encounter in Sifa Islands. Right now, the Johto starters are sort of the only exception because their region isn't in the game, right? So they have like a really weird, very rare encounter in the Safari Zone only. They were weirdly more difficult to catch than any other starter, like by a large margin. That's why they were so expensive for so long. You saw Totodiles for 40k, Cinnas for 20k minimum. So they would get a much, much improved. Chikoritas were still worth trash because they're trash Pokemon, but sorry. Proved a uh, single en single encounter rare spot outside of the safari zone which is a huge deal because they would, it would give people the opportunity to single hunt them a lot of people would probably still aid hunt them because a single encounter hunt for a rare shiny is pretty brutal but mm -hmm. the same this is absolutely true that the the best way to shiny hunt them is to still aid hunt them time um it's a huge step up right from being a very rare safari zone encounter with an insane catch rate in the safari zone pretty much a must egg breed to oh some people can now single encounter this that'll open up you know some more johto starter shinies to come into the game all right now on to the next pokemon that i want to talk about apom obviously all the pokemon that i'm going to be talking about are are apom i don't remember i don't know if this thing got any locations in johto i might need to load up the game and check is the funny thing the issue is i'm in the middle of a gym run on my main account so I also don't refer to their whole line of shinies it's also super super important so Apom. Shiny Apom is a really cool one. Shiny Apom is... It, it didn't get a horde, I don't think. I don't think it got a horde. This one I, I might have gotten wrong. Currently, you can get a common encounter at the honey tree. It probably got some sort of encounter. Let me see if I can actually load up the game really quick and double check this. We do, we do it live, no cuts, but I, yeah, that's shocking. I, I wonder if Apom actually would go ahead and bring it up and just straight up compare. We'll log in, go to the Pokedex, go over to Apom, wild locations. Oh, it did get a lot of new common locations. Here, I can actually show you guys. It did absolutely get a bunch of new common locations, as you can see. Uh, Lake of Rage, Mount Silver, so many more common single encounter looks. So it, got, it definitely going to be a lot easier to hunt. I'll see what I say. I don't know if I predicted a horde or what I predicted, but uh, it definitely got, definitely got a, a lot of new, new locations. At the bare minimum, we'll put a log out there really quick. I will continue on the video. Tree, but that doesn't really count because you can't really consistently do honey tree encounters because it requires waiting an hour between each, you know, each tree encounter. Now he has an uncommon encounter in the Safari Zone, which is 
not horrible. He doesn't have the worst catch rate, but obviously shiny hunting in the safari zone, single encountering alone is pretty brutal. I could easily see Impom or Apom slash Impom getting a times five or a times three. I did a I did a predict a horde, so I was wrong on this one. I got a, got a bunch of single encounters. Um, got a bunch of single encounters. I was I was Both dead wrong on this one. Reasonable. I can see him going into sort of a Zangu situation. Pretty cool Pokemon. I could easily see a times. I like that guess though. Apom is one of those Pokemon that could have gotten like a times three horde location with like multiple different like three or four different other Pokemon like the Zangu strange spot. Um, Zangu C dot so Viper and there's one other thing I'm forgetting. I think a low tad like it's a four Pokemon spot, which is crazy. Um, I definitely could have seen that happening, but I, I, I like the guess. I still stand by the guess, but not what happened. Three, That's a, a, it's a wrong guess. Now moving on to Centret. So I think I'm three for four. The I, I guess if you count the Johto thing, I'm like four for five. It was Miltank. Uh, what was the next one? Miltank. Uh, Mareep. Miltank, Mareep. Johto starter prediction. That's three correct. Johto time frame prediction four. I've gotten four out of five predictions correct so far, but it's about to go downhill. All right, now Centret's a pretty easy easy one. Centret is a pretty beloved shiny hunt. Actually, there's a, there's a specific niche uh, sort of person or sort of group of people who love Centret and fur and shiny fur is great. It's a pink shiny, especially their shinies. While right now, Centret has been an uncommon, you know, single encounter hunt for a while. There is no horde encounter for Centret or for it, which is... I know for a fact I got this one. Everyone got this one wrong. This was, everybody thought this was going to times five horde. It's surprising considering it's such like a pretty like early game or pretty like, you. I don't know, you would think of this Pokemon as a times five horde spot on like Island... It's like a common seeming Pokemon. Five in Kanto, for, at least in my opinion. That's how I feel. Uh, but it's only a single encounter in that area. So I could really, really easily see Centra going from an uncommon single encounter to a times five horde pretty super easily with Johto. Now moving on. So that's with Centra. Centra is the final uh, most... For those who don't know, it didn't get the time. It's one of the most infamous Pokemon that didn't get a time so forward in Johto. It did get a new common single encounter hunt location. That's it. But the fact that this Pokemon still didn't get a time so forward in Johto is, is, is mind blowing. I feel bad for all the Centred Hunters. Anticipated Pokemon, I would say. Uh, there still are a ton of Pokemon. Those are just the ones that I probably feel the most con. So that's four for six on predictions. Keep that in mind. Confident about my prediction, even though a lot of them are so bold. Those ones have been. I did pretty good on my confident ones. Now the other ones I'm gonna jump into are less theorized uh, and may make a little less sense, but there's a lot of them, so it's gonna get. So they're they're all very very possible, right? So, Lediba, Lediba right now is a single encounter. There's no horde for Lediba or Ledian. Um, I don't actually know if this got any. I have to bring up the game once again. I have to double. <laughs> I, I don't know, Lediba. Go ahead and double check uh yes wow i hope i say i actually didn't even realize this letty but did get a times five horde in johto we're learning stuff while doing this video which is awesome so yeah letty but got, got a times five horde in national park in johto so it did get a spawn that's actually crazy that's i i didn't expect that that's nuts i totally didn't realize that i believe it's what an uncommon encounter let's see what i predict yeah, it's it's at, it's at its best an uncommon single encounter not many people care about Ledyba slash Ledian. It's a pretty trash Pokemon. Not many people are a huge fan of it. I could easily see this getting a times five spot. Um, and it did. not many people caring. I could see this being a times five. I fucking nailed this. It did get a times five horde spot and no one's talking about it because no one cares. I didn't even know. And I like Ledyba. Okay, I fucking nailed that prediction. Is that five out of seven, we'll say? I have 50% spot with, a, with a, like a cooler Pokemon. Like Exactly what happened. I could see... Ledian being a times five spot or maybe even a times three with like Yanma, like those two being put in like the same spot and it being a 50% chance. I wish like sort of the, like the Ledian, like Le no Yanma horde still. Let me double check. I, I, I wish that would have been talked about if that got added because I haven't heard anything about that. No Yanma horde was added, I believe. Um, one extra location and it's a rare. Yeah, nothing, nothing Yanma, no Yanma stuff. Unfortunately, Same shiny versus the cool, you know, Chad Yama shiny, similar to Axew and Wubat. Now, the next Pokemon that I want to talk about a good is analogy going to be for a Lepo Natu. Spot. So, Natu and Zatu are both, you know, cool bird Pokemon, um, psychic bird, psychic flying type, which is actually pretty rare. Uh, really cut cool typing, really interesting Pokemon. Not I'm really happy with the Pokemon I covered. And this might have gotten a times a, a horror. Let me check. Um, I'm really happy. The Pokemon I'm covering in this are like underrated sort of 
Pokemon that are single encounter only. Uh, yes, this got a horde in Johto. I can show you guys really quick. Ruins of Alpha. I don't know if it's times three or times five. I haven't heard much about it, but it got a horde at the very least. So we'll see what I go ahead and predict really quick, though. Go ahead and jump over. Not many people care about it. So Zatu is really good in later generation competitive play because of magic bounce, which bounces things like stuff. And it has magic bounce. This video was recorded before most hidden abilities and stuff. This video is so old to think, kind of, you know, think about a year old. Yeah, it got magic bounce. It's it's actually, I think it's in UU right now. Health rocks and toxic and other sort of uh, statusing field effect abilities like that. Um, back at the opponent, which is really, really powerful, right? Currently, there is only... Uh, the best thing you can do is encounter Natsu at a single encounter rate in Ruin Valley in Kanto. Um, I can easily see this getting a times three or a times five. I, the first two, Letty Bud and Natsu, are ones that I don't see. Like they could, they could easily get times three, times five. Not many people. Care. That's six for eight on predictions. Hopefully, I'm care about them. Now on to another Pokemon that not many people care about, but I personally love and super care about, and actually really want to shiny hunt this Pokemon myself is going to be Suncurrent. So Suncurrent. Did this Mon? Did, I don't know if this Mon got. Another okay. Mon, I'm not sure if it got a spot. Go ahead and double check. Wow. Dude, I I didn't even know this. Sunturn's on my list. I thought it was single encounter. Look at this. This video is teaching me a lot. This thing got a horde as well at National Park. I, maybe this is split with Lediba. Um, that's awesome. Well, I have a lot of spots to... Now I have... This is, this is giving me great ideas for a new video on like uh, underrated... Johto shining locations because this is a sick one. Sunturn, I love Horde Location National Park, the same spot as as Letty Bud seems. That's super interesting. So we'll see. I think I predicted a horde. We'll see. Right now, Suncurrent has the best way to shiny hunt Suncurrent is an uncommon single encounter spot in Route 12. I single in encountered Nova. I single encounter hunted a lot for Suncurrent. Never got one still. I could easily sun see Suncurrent getting a times three or a times five spot. It's one of the, it's also one of those like Safari Zone type Johto Pokemon. It does have another spot, obviously out of the Safari Zone, which is pretty huge. But could easily see this thing getting a times three or a times five. I personally love Suncurrent, so I, I don't know how I'd feel about it getting a times three or times five. I kind of like the exclusivity of it being a weird, rare, shiny, and also having being single encounter. But I, I don't know. I, 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 cool. I also love Horde Hunt, so. I'd be super cool with it getting another spot. The next Pokemon I mentioned vaguely earlier is going to be Yanma. Yanma. Now, Yanma is a really, really cool shiny, a really, really wanted shiny. Uh, I would compare, you know, similar once again to that. That's, I compare a lot of shiny hunts to that times three spot in Hoenn that has Zangoose. We just checked Yanma, I feel like, but I want to double. I'm, I'm pretty sure it didn't get. Yeah, I think yeah, I got yeah. some new, like, single encounter hunts, but I don't think it got any. Yeah, the spot that it got is even worse, actually. So this got no new relevant spots. Yanma got nothing beneficial in so Johto in terms of shunting like locations. Dot slash Nuzleaf. It's a really cool spot. Um, there's a lot of great shinies there. And Yanma kind of fits that bill with like the blue tint on the shiny. Very, very cool shiny. The best way to shiny hunt it right now is a single encounter spot. Uncommon. That's I can still the best definitely way. see Yanma getting a times three. I think a times five is unlikely. I would be really surprised if it got a times five, but I absolutely could see it getting a times three spot. So the next Pokemon. I want All right. So that is what six for nine. On, did I get another prediction? What was my other prediction? Did I track the Sunturn one? I don't know if I did. Is that, is that seven for nine? How many? I don't know. I lost track. I'll be honest. We'll call this seven for ten. I don't know if I tracked the Sunturn one, so it'd be plus one. But yeah, I'll do seven for ten on predictions. Slash Nuzleaf. It's a really not cool too shabby. Spot. Um, Go ahead and continue forward back to where I was at. Three spots. Eve is uh, yeah, basically talking about is going to be Pineco. Now right now, a Pineco I believe is uh, yeah, basically Safari Zone own only. Pineco. Did Pineco get a spot? I gotta. Ch I have to like double check all of these. <laughs> did Pineco did a get a spot? We'll see. Pineco. It got a bunch of spots, but it did get a lot easier to hunt. So Pineco became a single encounter. I can show you guys. Pineco became a single encounter. It has a bunch of single encounter uncommon spots, which is good enough to single encounter shunt for. Uh, but you, so you wouldn't egg hunt for this anymore, which before it was an egg hunt. So that's a big deal. It did get a bunch of new locations that turned it from an egg hunt into a single encounter hunt. Let's keep watching. We're about half, can also about halfway through the video, fellas found an altering cave i've had a lot of discord members find and catch shiny pine coves in the safari zone over the past year or so which is hilarious congratulations to all of you you're very talented uh with a little bit of luck you know with a little Tough bit catch. of luck in there but you know what 
It's, it's really cool shiny. Um, I feel like I could actually see Pineco getting super devalued on this one. This is, you know, once again, just speculation and personal opinion. I could absolutely see Pineco slash Fortress getting a times five spot. So wrong. So wrong on that. Uh, seven for 11 on predictions. Very, very wrong there in one of the caves in the region, whether that's a mid game. I liked the guess though, seeing it be like a mid, kind of like Pharisee, a mid game uh, cave times five horde. It's a good guess, a lot of reasoning behind it. Cave, like I think if, obviously if it's Pineco, it's gonna be like an early to mid game cave. But if it's Fortress, a, a times five horde, Fortress horde, similar to like Pharisee, um, I could see it being late. Did I pre-watch this? I even said like Pharisee. <laughs> I swear that was, wow. The logic stays true, I guess game but anyways yeah I, I, I really could see pine code getting a times five horde spot in some sort of cave they need those cave hordes uh now the next pokemon is gonna be snubble my prediction for snubble right now it's a rare single encounter i wonder if Grub rambles any better yeah this was an egg hunt the best way to hunt this was egg hunt right now the only way to shiny hunt snubble is rare. i'm curious what i predict here i know what it is i know what it got Air single encounter hunting only in the daytime that's crazy uh or obviously egg hunting for all these um I really think that Snubble will get an early times three horde. I think he I f I do I nailed it. Oh my goodness. Um eight out of twelve, I think, on on guesses. That's exactly what happened. It got a times three early game horde. That's exactly what happened. Wow. Um dude, are devs watching my content and just putting out whatever I guess? Cause that's that's insane. I, I have not pre-watched this video. I'm shocked. I thought it was gonna be like 50-50 on guesses. I, I nailed this a lot better than I expected. Eight for twelve so far. Um, even like the to the to the fucking T to the precision of an early game times three horde. It's almost like after seven thousand hours of playing this game, I, I might understand a little bit of its mechanics and a little bit of the devs uh game philosophy. It's interesting. He's similar to like Rattata or Raticate in that regard, where he's sort of an early game Pokemon that I could definitely see getting a times three exactly horde. Exactly like what Zubat happened in the uh Mount Moon Cave. Or he could be like one of the first times five hordes we would see in the game. Um, Granville could also be another candidate for a late game times times five horde in a cave. Uh, that didn't happen, but Hariyama. All right, that covers Snubble slash Granville. Now onto the next Pokemon, Quillfish, which I butchered the spelling on. Uh, Quillfish, I could super see getting a times five water horde. I hope they don't add. What happened with Quillfish? We can double check that. Did it get a horde? Quillfish, Quillfish, Quillfish. Go to locations. Nope, it did not. It is still the same. It's still a fishing uncommon encounter. So nothing new for Quillfish. Wrong prediction there. Eight for 13, I believe. Just infinite tentacle slash tentacle water hordes. I think they're going to need a lot of interesting water hordes. Right now, uh, Quillfish is, an, is a single encounter. Uh, at an uncommon rate in multiple different spots. The same thing. No evolution. Um, I could definitely see Quillfish getting a times five, either underwater or, or on the water. I don't know if there's, I don't even know if there's underwater mechanics in Johto. I don't believe so. I never played Johto uh, traditionally Johto. in cartridge games, so I just don't know the map well enough, obviously, as well. So a lot of these are super turbo guesses. Now all these speculations and all of these guesses were literally with no understanding of Johto's maps and mechanics. I've never played the region before, so I, I'm, I'm doing pretty solid here. Am I eight for 12, eight for 13? I'm getting super Next lost Pokemon on it. I want to talk about a Shuckle. I think eight for 13. Please don't. Please. <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, Shuckle's my favorite Pokemon. Shuckle's my favorite shiny. I have a shiny Shuckle. I got very, very lucky in the Safari Zone and got it uh, for personal reasons. I hope they don't. I have no idea what I predicted here. Uh, touch Shuckle. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I don't know. I would love to see Shuckle get a like uncommon single encounter hunt. I think that'd be super fair. Reasonable. I think seeing Shuckle get a uncommon to maybe. Spoiler alert, it got nothing. It didn't get touched. The devs hate Shuckle. Be rare. Uncommon, maybe like Sudowoodo, like a rare single encounter hunt um, in Johto. I'd, I'd be okay with that. I think that's a super fair balancing. Uncommon to rare, single encounter hunt. I can see that for Shuckle. I don't see them doing a times three or times five horde, or at least I really, really hope they don't do that. But anyways, on to the Pokemon. Her I was correct, but incorrect. Do that half a point. We'll say 8.5 out of 14. Cross. Now, I really, Heracross is a crazy one. I actually really, really doubt they'll touch Heracross. Um, no, we'll say eight. 
it could get a times three or a times five horde, but dude, I really doubt it. I really, really doubt it. It's kind of my general consensus. It might get more like uncommon single encounter hunts, but that probably is the. Is gonna Let's be the check. So my guess here is more no horde for Heracross. Maybe some more uncommon single encounter hunts. Let's see what it did did. Cause I don't remember. Uh, that looks like exactly what it got. No hordes, just more. So I nailed this prediction. So you guys, just more uncommon single encounter hunts. And that's it for that. So we got that one correct. That is nine out of 15 now. Nine out of 15. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. The best you're going to see, in my opinion. Heracross has just been like kind of a defining shiny in Pokemon for so long. Like it's been a rare, it's been a pretty rare. I wonder if I'll explain what happened with it and the history behind it and how it used to have a certain location. Let's see if I talk about it. Shiny um, since... 2013 2014 when like um you could hunt it i believe in like pattern bush back in the day um it's not even there it just it still is there yeah okay um yeah i don't see them i don't see them touching this mod i don't see them balancing in that way i, I definitely think heracross will be untouched personally but it could get a times three or five times four but i, I really really doubt it uh, anyways, on to the next Pokemon. I didn't say. Heracross had a time swipe horde for like um one to three months from, from my understanding. Um, I could be wrong. Some Pokemon historian could correct me. It had a time swipe horde for, for, for a bit, maybe even up to like a year. It had a time swipe horde for a bit and they removed it. So a lot of people got Heracross, not a lot, but some people got Heracross through that horde and then they removed it and then it, it's a single encounter and it's, it's rare. So it was a weird Pokemon that like was rare for a bit got a horde, and then went back to being rare. It's it's in this weird limbo state where some people got the more common Heracross encounter, but not not many. So it's still pretty much a rare shiny. Remoraid. Remoraid is super similar to... Um, super similar to Quillfish. I could see this thing getting a times five water horde. But did I... Yeah, I got the Heracross correct. I think I already counted it, though. That was nine for 15. Super easily. Um, going from a very common single encounter hunt it has no horde spots it has multiple very so i think that i thought i so i thought that rem raid would get a horde spot let's go ahead and see what actually happened because i don't i don't know remo raid let's see in game burning through my my richest charms while i do this but that's okay it's worth it let's see johto i don't see any horde spots it got two fishing spots in johto and that's it so no horde spots for remo raid common single encounters um, but no horde spots. An incorrect guess. Nine out of sixteen. Yeah, a lot of a lot of very common single encounters, but no horde spots. Are they all fishing encounters? I thought That's it a really would. Important thing. I wonder if I'm raid. Maybe if I it's changed. Fishing only. That is pretty crazy. Because fishing is super slow, no matter how common the encounters are. Hmm. Fishing's around like a hundred encounters slower. A hundred encounters less per hour slower than just grass single. So let's see if I change it. Let's see. Maybe it gets like a time. Maybe maybe it gets an above water single encounter or times three. I don't know. I kind of adjust my my prediction on it after seeing it's fishing only, which is nice. I don't know. I can see this thing getting a times five. I can see Remoraid and Quillfish both getting that's, times five. Honestly, on top of water, Wouldn't not at a sixteen. On to the next Pokemon, Delibird. I would actually. So, I don't think they'll add a times five spot for Delibird. Ooh, incorrect. Nine out of seventeen. They did add a times five hoard for Delibird, and it's fucking awesome. I need to hunt it. Right now, Delibird is an uncommon single encounter uh, hunt in Giant Chasm. I don't think they'll add a times five spot for Delibird. I could see them doing a times three or more a more common single encounter. So I could see they did do a times five. It was it was unexpected though. So I I still stand by the like, the predictions were still correct predictions even if like they were wrong. Right? Them doing like a common or a very common single encounter hunt. I could definitely see that. I'd be really surprised if they do a times five, but I would still love that because I love Shiny Delibird. Really, really cool Pokemon. Now onto Skarmory. Skarmory is another Shiny very similar to Heracross where it's been rare for so long in Pokemon. If they touched it, it would be so bold. Um, I kind of really doubt it. Although I think what might happen is they might add it as a, like, it could be a common to, com they could add more single encounter spots. Uh, whether common to rare, in like later game caves would be my guess. Okay, so my prediction is more single encounter spots for Skarmory. Let's see what happens <laughs> once again. I don't remember. Double check. Skarmory, wild locations. Johto, we see one, two, three, four, five different locations. And it got, yeah, uncommon. 
uncommon single encounter location. So it did get a small buff. I can go ahead and show you guys really quick. It did get a small buff in terms of the locations. We see some Johto hunts here, all being uncommon. Um, but yeah, I pretty much nailed that prediction. So we'll call that 10 out of 18. Not too shabby. I, I could definitely see them... I could see them adding single encounter spots. I do not see them adding a times three or times five spot for Stormy, call. personally. Let's go ahead and go on to Hitmontop. So Hitmontop is an interesting one. Obviously the Tyrogue line is super, super rare shinies. All of these shinies are super, super rare. There's no wild location for Tyrogue. Uh, there's only very rare wild encounters for Hitmonchan. These guys are pretty much strictly egg hunt shinies. Um, but I'm scared of my prediction here. Hip on top was introduced in second gen, you know, obviously alongside Tyrogue, but Tyrogue, I don't, I don't see them adding a wild location for Tyrogue. That'd be weird. Uh, I do see them adding a late game single encounter uh, spot for Hip on top. I could. That's actually reasonable. I don't know why I was scared. I was gonna say like times five forward or something. That's actually reasonable. What did they do? Because uh, I think Hitmon, I think all the other Hitmon have a late game single encounter spot. That's exactly what they did. Eleven for nineteen. Let me show you guys really quick. Late game victory road lore encounter. Exactly what they did. This was before they added the hit other hit monsters of lore encounter there as well. So yeah, honestly, I nailed that one. Not too shabby. What is that? 11, I just said 11 for 19, 11 for 19, correct on predictions? You can absolutely see Hitmon Top becoming a single encounter in the wild. That would make a lot of sense in late game caves, uh, similar to, you know, Pineco or Grand. Two minutes left on the video. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this long video. If you have enjoyed it so far, like it, subscribe, helps a ton. Or things of that nature. Now on to the next Pokemon though. Now, this is probably the most, this is the last Pokemon that I actually want to talk about uh, and probably the most insane one. If they touch this shiny, this shiny hunt, I would be blown away. I would be consider me blown away. Very, very surprised. Um, I heavily doubt they will touch Larvitar. This would be so brave from the devs. Wildly wrong on this. I dude, they I feel like they watched this video and just memed it full all the way. Um wildly wrong. But like I was wildly wrong on this. It obviously got a times five horde at Mount Silver, but it's locked behind a specific end gamer. No one could have guessed what was happening with Mount Silver. No one could have guessed this. I feel like no way. Um, but that is 11 for 20. I was wildly incorrect on this one, but that's, I don't know how you ever guess this. Um, but it is one of the pseudo legendaries that has been around in the game for a long time. The longest, you know, um, I guess him and Larvitar and Dragonite have there been around go. kind of equally as long. Um, back when the game was just fire red, Larvitar was still in the game on Savault Canyon and in the, you know, in on the islands always. Uh, but there is a time always been an important Pokemon and always been around it's five for other pseudo legendaries like Dieno. Dieno actually has a times five horde spot in Unova. So it's not impossible for Larvitar to get some sort of times time, times. It's crazy thing about Larvitar getting a times five horde spot. I kind of almost predict I talk about it being an option, but that's kind of a cop out. Um, I, but wow, it's not impossible, but it would be very brave from the devs. Uh, I think at the most we might see we might see another rare encounter. The fact that I say, "Wow, it's not impossible, but it'd be brave." The devs are brave. I shouldn't have counted them out. Single spot, but yeah, I would. I, would, I could actually. I think my prediction would be: I, I see them moving the the Larvitar spot out of Savault Canyon, perhaps, um, and giving it a rare single encounter spawn in Johto's. That's wrong. So eleven out of twenty. So. There we go. That's all of my predictions for all of the upcoming. Glad I didn't make a guess on Dratini because that would have been wildly wrong. I'm pretty sure that is that the last the last guess. Let's hunt see. Changes and shiny Pokemon being devalued when Johto comes out within the next year or so. Hopefully, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you liked this video, if it was entertaining, helpful, educational, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, hit yeah, the like. I think that's it. So. That leads me with the outro for this one. What did you guys think? How did you guys think I did? 11 out of 20. Over 50% is honestly not that bad. It's kind of what I expect. I expect like 50% accuracy. I didn't pre-watch this. I had no idea what I said aside from just memory. And it's been a year since I recorded this. A whole year. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it was fun. I think it's some pretty fun, enjoyable background entertainment content while you guys grind your Pokemon. Hopefully you're having good shiny luck in Johto. Like this video if you did enjoy it. Dislike if not. That's always encouraged. I do want genuine feedback on my channel. Uh, criticisms and stuff like that are welcome. Present it politely. If you just say, hey, this video stunk. Hey, this video bad. I ban people pretty aggressively in my comments. If you're, if you're just going to be a negative Nancy, not only do you hurt my experience, but you also hurt other commenters. I think that's something that really got me
it really brought me around because I was a very anti-ban person for a long time. But what really brought me around, I could do a whole video on content creation tips covering this. What really brought me around to banning people is it, it impacts other viewers' experience in a negative way. And that's where I draw the line. So like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike if not. Leave nice comments, polite comments. It doesn't have to be nice, but polite comments. Subscribe to the channel for daily videos. I upload every single day, 365 days a year. And stream on Twitch usually Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Discord's down below for updates on all that content if you're interested in that. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, channel youtube memberships twitch primes twitch subs and paypal slash venmo donations go a very long way thanks for watching have a great day i'll see you guys later and peace have a good shiny look